What is up friends, we are already at the end of the first batch of episodes released for Peacemaker and it's definitely going to be tricky to wait a week at a time for the next episodes to be released because it already feels very bingeable and addicting. I've been loving it so far, excited to see once I finish this episode what other people have thought about the show as well, but most importantly what you all think about the show as I upload these reactions. But with some of the ups and the downs with the past couple movies that I've watched from DC. I am extremely pleasantly surprised with the quality of this show so far from the technical side but also just from the storytelling and the comedic side as well. It's been non-stop fun for me so far and so I'm looking forward to the third episode here hoping for some more good times but if you all enjoy watching along with me for this episode definitely consider leaving a thumbs up. It helps the video out a lot and of course you can check out the full length reaction on Patreon. Link for that in the description below but without further ado let's get into episode Three. Homunculi freak me the f out. Homunculi? Yeah. It's a tiny miniature person. Hey, doll man, you ever meet him? Doll man. He turns small. I don't think we ever met those characters, at least off the top of my head, I don't think so. Who's saying you gotta deal with them now? I found a miniature spaceship. Where's this tiny spaceship now? Out of Bio's desk? Hey, I want it back when you're done with it, Die Beard. <laughs> I don't know if we're ever gonna see those guys be friends. They certainly don't get along. Who's the guy that's peeking out behind the trash can? here what i'm just looking for behind a trash can it's a normal thing to do <laughs> this dude's even worse in social situations than peacemaker didn't think it was possible get the f out of here i was about to go and then you had to say that i'm fine they're still not going to be good friends and none of them is the type to be a best friend <laughs> Neither is he, man. He's a handful. If one of them does become a friend, it should be her. A bunch of rumors going around about you being racist. A little embarrassing for me. As if I become a racist by osmosis. Even though I mostly kill white people. <laughs> Oh, dude, this is ridiculous. Just digging a hole. Curious to see what kind of power he has in a fight situation. And now I know that's Vigilante on the left right there. I was wrong about the guy in the green suit. Man, I'm so curious what the comics were like for this character, assuming he is from comics. If it did feel like a parody of everything, or if initially it was more serious and the show is just taking it in a different direction. James Gunn is certainly killing it though. He's doing so much for both Marvel and DC. He's pretty much inspired a lot of the direction most superhero stuff is going. Our target is Senator Roiland Goff, known for being a radical proponent of climate change. So we're gonna kill him because climate change is a hoax. It's not a hoax. Yeah, okay. Facebook's lying to me every day for no reason. <laughs> Jeez, these lines this is a very topical show, I guess, relating to so many current events. We don't know yet whether or not his wife and children are butterflies. You'll have to kill all of them. What? I thought you loved peace, no matter how many men, women, and children you needed to kill to get it. Whoa, bro, that is brutal. Killing kids is like next level dark. What, is it just trust us and shoot kids? Come on, man, look how adorable that one is. The other one, not so much. It's got like a children of the corn vibe going on. <laughs> Oh, jeez, great reference. The other one looks like a butt baby. A butt baby. Two types of babies, one that comes out of a woman's vagina, and then butt babies, worse in every way. No, I believed I was a butt baby until I was like 14. <laughs> I feel like I've met quite a few butt babies in my life. That's a great phrase, I might start using that. Bodyguard goes by the name of Judo Master. Is that guy gonna protect him from pink hearts and green clovers? We understand he's dangerous. He's two feet tall! Yo, okay, that's who it is. We finally see him. They look like friends in the intro, but I assume we're gonna see him fight here soon. Where's the double piece? The what? It's engraved on all my weapons. I don't think I can kill someone with something that doesn't have the double piece on it. Every time I draw a double piece, it looks like a ghost. <laughs> I'm excited to see what it looks like. I don't think I've noticed it on the guns he's been using before. It looks like a bat symbol almost. Man's artistic skills could use a bit of work. We need Peacemaker to stop questioning us. He's stubborn, but he also has a deep need to belong. We can use that to our advantage. Cool. Toss me a screw. 
Oh, man, I still feel kind of apprehensive about this whole operation, the way they're using him, especially if they want him to stop questioning things. I'm trying to do what I can to make up for my past. Things I've done make me sad. That's a feeling of mine I just shared with you. Cool. It is cool, because I've never done it before. <laughs> well, I can definitely tell it's his first time, because he's not very good at it. It's about as vague as it could get with descriptions. You've never said you felt chilly? Think I'm some weak-ass girly man who needs a poofy jacket or a little blankie? You're gonna bring me a baby pacifier for that widow blankie john <laughs> how did he say that with a straight face dude's a robot apparently hey an olive branch is offered for the first time from her maybe there's hope for them to get along but i have a feeling peacemaker's gonna ruin it real quick those ones are empty calories There you go, man. Just took a few seconds, already ruined the moment. We've got the Berenstein Bears and the Mercedes. Papa Bear, Mama Bear, Brother Bear, and Sister Bear. We've got a Bodyguard and Cobra Kai in the Cadillac Escalade. <laughs> Calling him Cobra Kai, I love it. Another show I need to watch. It's Berenstain Bears, not Berenstein Bears. Dude, I grew up on those books. It's Berenstein Bears. Mm. Actually named after the creator, Stan and Jan Berenstein. Does this <laughs> I feel like they're a couple years late on that Mandela Effect reference. That was definitely one of the wildest things that I ever heard in my life, though, when I first realized that it wasn't Berenstein. Is golf in sight? Nope. If you don't get him now, Smith, we'll probably have to wait till morning. So help me make the big money from him disappear, okay? You want me to take him out too? No. Dang, perfect placement by that guy. I wonder if that was intentional. Surely he's got to get another chance. I think the whole family is butterflies. Their demeanor changed. They dropped the pretense of being a playful family. I'm not cool with any of this shit anyway. I don't know why we're killing these people. I like the element that there's these secret people living amongst society. Kind of creepy. Dude thinks he's the coolest man in town by offering that to her. There's no way they end up together through this show, right? How'd you get in this line of work? How did you get into this line of work? My old man, I guess. Mine got me my first Glock when I was 12. Not 20. It's a lot of gun for a little girl. I was a lot of little girl for a gun. <laughs> Hit him right back with a one-liner. That's wild, man. After high school, I joined the CIA. No, here I am, living the dream. About to assassinate a couple of children. <clears throat> Love learning more about her history. She's definitely one character that I wanted to learn more about after the first couple episodes. We've seen her skill, but not exactly why she does what she does. Can you watch for a second? Later? Sure, yeah. Take a break. That was a really interesting conversation that you guys had. <laughs> Has he just been here the entire time? My gosh, this man is committed. The biggest super fan. We know he's there, Peacemaker. I know you're here. Get out of the bushes. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> He is the worst person at being inconspicuous. First a trash can and now this. Alright, that's definitely photoshopped. <laughs> Man, I went through the same process. It took me so long to actually accept it. They're pouring some sort of honey-colored goo into bowls. They're butterflies. How do you know? Oh, dude, that is uncomfortable. I guess you wouldn't feel as bad killing kids if they are these alien creatures. If you have a shot, terminate them immediately. I don't know if I can hit them. They're clear. Take the shot. Should have put a dub on the gun. Take a breath. Steady yourself. Oh man, I guess it goes a lot deeper with that gun design than just having a fun little drawing on there. Move over for a sec. <laughs> Yo, he's doing this so casually, my gosh. Vigilante might just be straight evil. And now, Papa Pig. Oh, dude, let's go. We're gonna get a full on fight here, aren't we? He was so close to getting all of them. How court, do you copy? Oof. Man, that was a pretty rough hit right there. This guy may be smaller, but he's certainly capable. <laughs> oh, 
excellent stunts. Love the fight choreography. And the sounds are great as well. Love how punchy they are. Oh no, man, friendly fire. I've got a couple good hits in, but he's taking them all. <laughs> oh man, it's lethal, holy crap. That did not go well at all. I'm shocked he took out all of them. Stay right there. Who are you? Jesus. Just stay there. Drop your weapon. All right. Cool. Ooh, wait, man, is that freaking McNabb from Psych? What a legend popping up here. Take care of it. I don't think he's one of them. He's seen us. Wife's name is Marianne. Three Depending kids. on us, Mason, Declan, and Jaden. No. Do this. Oh, dude, that is cold. I can't believe she did that. I don't think that guy deserved it, but rip to buzz. He really was just a quick cameo or a quick performance, not really a cameo. <sighs> Hey. <laughs> oh, that was excellent. There's been some amazing edits like that so far in the show. Try the side door. The bodyguard wasn't a butterfly. Great. Oh man, that sucks. Although, like Harcourt said, he had seen them, so there's not much you can do at that point. You remind me of the I took last night, only Asian. Oh, big man. Hey, nice costume, bro. Well tight. I can count the veins in your dick. Big, swole man. So tough. <laughs> he knows he holds all the power in this situation. He's not taking any of those hits. Oh gosh, they need to hurry up and save these guys. That's gonna destroy Vigilante. Take the tunnel to the forest. From there, get to Glen Ty. Let them know what's occurred here. Yes. Ah, uh, so it's not the <laughs> nice little parting gift for him. It's not the last time we're gonna see him, which I'm not surprised. Someone that skilled in fighting, there's no way they'd get rid of him as a character after just one scene. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> Dude, I knew it was him. I keep changing my facial expressions. He won't be able to recognize me in a lineup. <laughs> What an absolute clown, this man. I'm not telling you. Does that change your mind? Oh, that is some rough torture right there. That poor dude, I can feel that pain. I like it a lot, I don't give a f No, 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 no. <laughs> Peel off the back and put it on the door. Hey, let's go. Equip with some gadgets. About time we saw something cool like that. I feel like they may be too late for Vigilante's posterity, but he'll probably still be alive when they get in there. Why are you licking it? I thought it was an adhesive. You just have to peel off the back and stick it on there. I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> At times she struggles, but she's trying her best. An honest mistake. Don't you gut Chase's younger brother? Your body's way more toned than it used to be. Uh, thanks. Don't worry. I'm not giving this guy anything. Uh, maybe you could just give him a little. <laughs> yeah, that's not too reassuring. I think for his sake, you want to give him info. What about the fear of losing something more permanent, like a toe? I'll start with this pinky. My pinky? Why me again? This one's obviously the alpha. <laughs> Oh, getting the short end of the stick at all turns. Cut off all his toes, I don't care. If someone doesn't have their pinky toe, they fall over. It's the most important toe on the human body. <laughs> don't tell me he actually loses it. He is going through it. <laughs> God, it's no! Oh, dude, this is rough. I love that they're not showing it in detail, just as expression is enough. Works in the lab, damn it. Why is it not coming off? Oh, because your blades are dull as man. Jesus Christ! Oh, <laughs> that was nasty, man. I was anticipating them showing it, but I still wasn't ready. I guess it's not working. Oh, he's free. Let's go. I knew with that angle that it was going to blow up. Oh, 
brilliant. Even he's getting in on the action. And some solid hits, some great camera movement as well of how creative they're being. Peace out, mother. <laughs> now that is a solid catchphrase right there. Works perfectly with his name. <sighs> hey, stop where you are! Oh my gosh, dude, he still is alive. I don't know if he's faking or what. I don't trust him. Even injured, he's probably still a beast. <laughs> oh no, he's just gonna have to keep laying into him. He really just killed a man. I can't believe they actually got rid of that character, though. Yeah. Are you all right? Dude's a real part of the team now. I hope they introduce some more cool fighters throughout the series if we already lost that one. Smith! Smith! We're okay! Down here! I think he only cut off about half my toe. <laughs> well, maybe they can still salvage it. He has been through way too much tonight. What the? <laughs> oh, dude, that's so disgusting. I guess that's where the name Butterfly comes from. Huge props to the makeup and effects, though. That looks flawless. Oh, Project Butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, of course it was related to a real butterfly. Just as he said earlier, they aren't very clever with their project names. Holy crap, dude, they've only just scratched the very surface of enemies. What a way to close out the episode with that shot. How the heck are they going to go through all those? Is that all going to be accomplished in this season, or is it going to take a lot longer? I think this was definitely a great choice, though, to release these three episodes at once so you could go through them all, because I feel like, in a way, it's almost like there was a big story arc with those first three episodes ending with discovering the real meaning meaning of Project Butterfly, but I'm having a blast with this show so far. <laughs> it's so energized and electric, and their main goal just seems to be to have fun with the story and the characters, and so it's made for a great experience as a viewer so far. And man, it's definitely competing with the boys as the most gruesome superhero content out there. There's been some nasty shots. If you f up this mission, I will kill your family. <laughs> okay, good luck. A little late for that. You guys got beer? I'm so glad they do that at the end of each episode. I wonder if those are moments they were considering putting in there and they just decided not to and it's just a fun addition at the end. Well, I gotta give huge props to everyone behind this show because despite there being so many superhero shows and movies out right now and over the past couple years, this feels completely unique and different, like its own separate thing with its own style and everything like that. And part of it, I think, is because it's not going so super heavy on the superhero elements. Obviously, Peacemaker has extra high levels of strength and whatnot, and the butterflies that they're dealing with are obviously something that you could only find in a superhero type show or some sort of fantasy show. But other than that, it feels very grounded with the other characters and the locations and everything like that. We haven't had like a worldwide threat yet. Obviously, it may be going that direction with what we saw at the end with how many potential butterflies there are out there but I'm really enjoying the storytelling and once again the acting is superb from everybody they're all nailing their roles and I love that even though they all are kind of comedic it feels like they each have their own specific comedic style that none of them are really copying each other the jokes are never repetitive from different characters things like that and so I think they've done a good job in carving out the 
these personalities for each of them but John Cena in particular I think has really impressed me with his acting so far he absolutely enhances every single scene that he's been in so far his screen presence is fantastic obviously he's had quite a history in front of the camera and so it's not like he's new to any of this but as far as from what I've seen from him before I think this is definitely some of his better work if not his best but again I haven't seen all the things that he's done and so I'm really excited to get into the rest of the show as far as I know it's eight episodes so we've got five more to go and so I hope that you'll continue to enjoy watching along with me throughout the rest of the season and whatever comes after that but if you enjoyed watching along with with me for this one definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the video out and of course you can check out the full length reaction on patreon link for that in the description below but until the next episode look forward to seeing you all later peace